Recently, I went with my son to his first ever swimming lesson. And anytime you do that, you can totally tell with five or six year olds, um, they go over, they get into the water and there's an excitement, but clearly there's nerves. They're more cautious, they're more hesitant. And he had this incredible instructor. Um, he's a high school kid. He had the, more energy than I've ever seen in a high school kid. He immediately was connecting with them and it made it easier, no question about it. But then they had a, a point where they went down on this platform, right? They get into the water and still they're good because the water's maybe up to their, their, their chest at most and they're comfortable there, right? They know that they're safe. And then his instructor, Trevor, uh, told him he wanted them to jump into the water and to try to swim across. And he assured them, I, I will not let you drown. I will be here. But the look on their face was like, oh my gosh. They, they were scared, okay? And I'm thinking, how are they, how is he possibly gonna pull this off? Those kids are not gonna jump. In fact, he's gonna have to hold them and bring them across. And then all of a sudden, he, he goes across and he picks up a yellow ball. And he points it up like this to them and he says, he says, do you think you could catch this? And of course, little kids are up for a challenge. They say, we can catch this. You know, he might let them catch a few of them. And then he says, all I want you to do is go get this ball. I just want you to go get this ball and I'm gonna throw it over and I just want you to swim and go get it. And they are all excited about this. And then all of a sudden he does this. He throws the ball out and the kids start swimming, flailing, really, just flailing, going for it. But they get across and all of a sudden they get up and they realize that they just did something they didn't realize, they didn't think that they could. And I'm sitting over there going, he just pulled off a Houdini act. He just, I mean, what he just did is incredible. He took kids that were afraid, afraid of the water, afraid of going under, and he said, hey, I just want you to chase this yellow ball. And that taught me a valuable lesson. And what it is is this. A lot of times if you can just change your focus, you can get rid of fear. Now, if you're going up to a giant bridge or a cliff where you can fall off, fear is a good thing. But when it comes to your goals and aspirations, it's not a good thing. And so I've thought a lot about this. What exactly can you do to help people get over their fears when it comes to pursuing big goals, when it comes to creating change in your life, when it comes to just going out and living at a higher level, how can you do that? And what I've realized is there are absolutely ways to do that. And I'm going to roll these out in a brand new all-in living resource that you can get for free. And all you have to do is go down below and click the link below to sign up for it. But I am going to bring you one tip in this video because that's why you clicked on here. You wanted to know how to change your life. And so if you want to create that change, one of the best things that you can do is to get your brain to focus on growth. If you can get your brain to focus on growth, it can make fear disappear. It can speed up how quickly you go after things. It can help you just radically change your life. And so here's your yellow ball. If you want to create change in your life, don't worry about going out and trying to push to get your goals right now. Don't worry about, you know, flipping the script on all your negative thoughts. All you have to do is commit to getting up early in the morning and doing a morning growth routine. If you will just get up 15 minutes or 30 minutes early and before you touch your phone, before you turn on the TV, before you do anything like that, if you will just pick up a book and read it. Get a book that's inspirational. Get a book that's motivational. And if you want more tips, then just you know shoot me a message and I'll give you tips on books. But just grab these books and immediately point your brain towards growth. Point your brain towards what's possible. And if you're willing to do this every single morning for a span of 30 days, 60 days, the most miraculous thing's gonna happen. All of a sudden, your entire brain is going to change, your approach is going to change, and you're gonna to start to go after things you never thought possible. You're going to start to realize that you have negative thoughts, but the coolest thing is, is this process is gonna help you shift those things out. And then you're gonna be ready for some amazing transformations, and all you have to do is just go after the yellow ball. You don't have to change everything. All you have to do is read every single morning. And I'm committed to bringing you more strategies just like this. You know, but you have to you have to want them. And if you do, sign up to get them. I'll keep coming at you and we'll get a chance to help you go out and create amazing results in your life so you can go all in, you know, to get a life that you absolutely love. Hope you love this. Uh, I'll be back soon. Take care.